What is up gamers of the internet? My name is Sayushi and today is a very special day because I finally have VR Trove worked out. Kind of. So I'm using a program called Vorpex and basically what this program does is allows you to take games that otherwise wouldn't be VR and add them to VR. Now this isn't full 100% VR. It's not like I have control over my character's hands with my index controllers or anything, but I do have head tracking and that's really, really cool to the point where not only turning my head, tilting side to side, okay, it does, tilting side to side doesn't seem to work. <laughs> well, it depends on the settings that you end up using with the program. You, I probably could set that up, but I honestly don't know how. What we're going to be doing, though, is zooming in with the gunslinger and typing slash hide player. This is a trick that I've done in the past to end up giving me the simulation of the game being like a first person shooter. And so it should, whoa, it should make the experience a lot cooler. Now, the thing is, what I'm seeing, obviously, is not going to be brought to justice in the video footage that you guys are seeing right here. Like, for me, this is actually pretty crazy. I'm literally walking around in my little club world. Unfortunately, I am literally like one foot off the ground. Like I am super duper short in this game. Uh, at least that's what happens when I'm running it in the VR. Uh, let me see. There's a couple other things that I can do to change how it works. Yeah. So I guess it's not really as cool for you guys because obviously it's it's quite literally just showing the uh, my my head tracking, uh, but for me the game is kind of taking up my peripherals and stuff. There's obviously more settings that could be done to end up making the experience like a lot easier and cooler for actual VR. But I mean it's good enough, you know. Like I'll take it. I don't even know how to end up entering a portal. Honestly speaking, I don't think I have full controls over that. So let's actually just head into. I don't know, let's just go to another uh, novice world or something. Oh, wait a minute, where? My damn mouse, dude, it keeps disappearing. So with this Vorpex program, if anyone's curious, FOV 120 apparently is like the sweet spot for VR games that aren't actually VR. Um, in the Vorpex settings, like you can load up a bunch of pre-profiles. I don't know how to make like a custom one by any means. And that's why this is pretty shitty. Because otherwise, if you know what you're doing, you can set it up so that it has head tilting. Uh, you can kind of edit a little bit more of the game so that where I'm positioned is going to have the camera pull out a little bit. As opposed to right now, we are just 110% playing basic, normal ass trove. The difference being is that it's tracking my head for the move uh, for the shots, which. I mean, as you can see, it's kind of kind of cool. It gives us a little bit of an advantage for sniping, as if this game actually has stuff like that. Okay, maybe it doesn't. It's pretty messed up. It's pretty weird, okay? Like, especially because my character is, like, so super-duper short. It might be a better experience if I was playing on, like, the Vanguard or something. <laughs> like, what can I say? Uh, but these controllers obviously don't give me full control over my character. It'd be recommended that I just use, like, a normal Xbox controller or something. Uh, but if you have the program yourselves, all I did for this uh, setting this up was I loaded up a already made profile for, I think it's like Unity or something. And for some reason, it just worked with Trove. Maybe that's why it's kind of bare minimum, you know, doesn't have like the full controls that you would expect for other uh, games. But I mean, it's cool. Uh, so another thing too, I want to mention in this video is while I got your guys' attention. If you have any suggestions for other games you want to see me try out in VR, you know, be my guest, dude. Oh, there is, there's the E button. Like, I'm, I'm perfectly cool with trying out, like, other games, depending on if there's something uh, that is actually supported, you know? Why? I'm trying to fly with my wings, but it doesn't seem to be working for some weird reason. I don't get it. My controls are, like, all messed up. So, unfortunately, we're, it seems like we're walking, boys. Uh, but I had looked into some of the other games that I had on the channel. Minecraft already has like some really good mods for playing in VR in general. Uh, but obviously we can't use something like that on the Windcraft server. Which sucks. Um, Destiny, which I recently cancelled on the channel. At least, you know, until I get a little bit more time on my hands. 
uh, does not allow third-party programs to be running. So unfortunately, nobody is allowed to even set up a profile for this, uh, like with this program for Destiny, even if they wanted to. Whoa. Can you guys see the controllers? I don't think that you can. But I literally see the controllers in my hands. And it is still pretty cool for me because obviously like I'm really I'm zoomed in in the world so I can see like what's going on very easily it it is definitely an experience to be had dude to be able to kind of see the world in a different light with Trove you know where the world is like so small and I just feel like insignificant <laughs> like my god dude this game hard to believe like Man, alive. It's so cool, though. I do definitely like this. It is a lot better than... Like, there was another video that I had done. Hi. There was another video I'd done where I kind of uh, cheated the system and played... And played Trove in VR. Um, where I... Basically, what I did with that was I just had, like, a really stretched out desktop in front of me. So I was just looking around... Uh, on that desktop. I wasn't controlling my character with my headset like I am right now, you know? Okay, what do you say we jump? Because I can't use my wings for some reason. Duh, duh, oh god. Okay, we, we, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Oh my god, I probably look like a fucking idiot. And not because the eyes that I have on my VR, VR headset or anything. I'm just talking about the fact that like, blah, blah, I'm sitting here getting scared of jumping around. That's actually a lot of fun. Like, it it does kind of, when I'm in the air, it becomes a lot easier to accept the fact that I'm controlling this character in VR. Because when I'm on the ground, the immersion is kind of ruined. Because when I'm looking around, clearly, my camera is hovering around a character... Uh, but as soon as I end up going up into the air, it kind of breaks that. And then as far as I'm concerned, it's like, oh, I'm flying, you know? So jumping around actually is like a lot cooler. All right, let's see if we can snipe all these boys. Where's the arrow one? Come here, boys. Come here. Yep. Yes! We're doing it, gamers. Oh, come on. I sniped him. You saw my shot connect. Like, so help me, it did. Uh, boop. There we go. I, I feel like such a scrub playing this game like this. Like, I'm so slow at the game now. Like, it's seriously crazy. <laughs> but it's like, it is cool. It really is. I'm trying to think if there's anything. Oh, I know what. I know where we can go. Okay, there's some cool stuff in Team Pixel that we can check out. I wish it would do a better job for you guys on the monitor. Because for me, like... I can't see the chat or anything, dude. Like, it's it's actually like a different camera where I'm kind of experiencing this. Hello. Okay. Oh, it's Critter! He's like as tall as me when I'm in VR. Hi, Critter! You're scary, dude. Okay, I want to go and check out some of our cooler... Uh, duh! Some of our cooler builds over here just in the hub area. I'm looking in particular... Those with photosensitivity be warned... When we jump in here, it's gonna flash a bunch of different lights. And it's probably gonna... Uh, 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 whoa! Probably gonna make me sick, I was gonna say, which, I mean, it kind of did. Whoa! Whoa! This is fucked, dude. <laughs> I don't have wings. I hope I have enough jump to get out. Do I have enough jump? Because when I try... What? Where the... F what? What? Oh, we're in the secret hub area. Okay. I don't think there's a way out of here anymore like there used to be. Yeah, okay. It's just some dead guy. This used to be an entrance. Yeah, okay. Get out of my way, dude. Like, seriously. I still don't understand why you freaks stand on top of me. Like, seriously. Beside me, I can get it. But standing on top of me, like, what the heck is your problem, dude? I'm not, like... I'm frustrated at it because I don't understand it. Like, if you guys want to, like, stand and be in the shot, be my guest, that's cool. Yeah, I can't use my wings. Well, I'm stuck in the cave. <laughs> I guess I gotta respawn. Dang it. It's like, I don't have a problem with you guys uh, being beside me for the sake of the video and stuff, but standing inside me just doesn't make sense to me. Like, at all. 
You know what? Maybe this will end up helping the immersion if I just get rid of the HUD. Ah, yes. See, it's a much more cinematic experience now. Right? Uh, right? Just King? Whatever? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Don't worry, I can still play this game. I can play this game with my eyes closed, dude. Like, I played this game way too long. Whoa, Bowser the Sky Whale! He's ginormous, dude! He looks great! Imagine doing parkour in VR. Oh, shit. Now I have an idea. Oh! Uh, damn! 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 <sighs> I didn't get scared. Pfft. What are you thinking? I never get scared of nothing. Okay, this... I don't think that this is going to work very well. Because, again, like I said, the perspective for me is that where this idiot is attacking is where our character model is. And to me, I'm like way further away from him, you know? Seriously, you guys have problems. Like, I get it, you want to be in a video, but why on top of me, mate? Doesn't make sense. Get off of me. You guys bother me. <laughs> Most of all, it's so, like, it doesn't bother me normally, but it's so intrusive when we're in VR. Oh my fucking god, this looks beautiful. I should go into Do Not Disturb and Hide mode, just so that you guys can get a life. Cause seriously, oh man, the little goblin dude. It's so intrusive and I can't, I can't get on a mount or anything is the problem too. You know, I half want to just kick this guy from my world right now. No, I, it's just cause I'm in VR. So it's like frustrating. Most of all, because I'm trying to do a video. Okay. You know what? Here we have to make a jump. Can we do it? Uh, da, da! I did it. I totally did it. You can't actually land in that one pixel spot. It is really dope when it happens. Oh, dude, let's actually... God, I wish I actually could use my wings. Because I kind of want to low-key go up there to the floating islands. Because there's like some mirrored blocks in there and it's pretty cool. So maybe we'll check that out real quick before we end up... Uh before we end up calling this video, because in all honesty, like, it's like, I don't know how to drag out this video any longer than we've already seen, guys. Like, I know that it's not doing it justice at all. It is not exciting for you guys watching just normal ass Trove. The difference is that I'm just playing it with my headset. Like, big deal, you know? Whoa. I mean, this is still pretty cool, though. Oh, God. I don't want to fall off. Jumping off of stuff, like, that, that's actually really exciting. And this is like the Mario staircase. Man, I gotta do like a world tour video soon. But that's literally gonna take hours. Whoa. This is so much trippier in VR, dude. I mean, it's already trippy because it's actually like an inverted build. So it gives the illusion that it's actually like reflective, but it's not. I really like this area. I think this was Joe and Key that built this. But I really like this, dude. It's so cool, especially in VR, man. Like, the rainbows are a dead giveaway that it's Joe, because he just likes rainbow stuff. I don't know why. But, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, man, it's like when you go into those museums, and then it's like an optical illusion, you know? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Get out of me! Get out of me, you jerk. Seriously. Oh, my gosh. It's so cool, dude. It really is. I wish that it worked a little bit better. We. Ah! Uh, I wish it looked worked a little bit better with the VR, man. But anyways, I think that's all that I can stand of that, honestly. Ugh. Uh, don't take it too hard if you guys that are following me around watch me uh, watch this video or anything like that. It's not that big a deal, but it does frustrate me when I'm trying to do videos and you guys are just being intrusive, uh, you know? I've talked about many, many times before, and I think most of all it's just because I'm spoiled. Like, it went, it, it didn't bother me back in the day, but now it, now it sure as hell bothers me, especially when I got, like, all these VFX, I think most of all in my face, because on the VR, it's literally right there. Anyways... I hope that you guys found this video entertaining. Uh, the reason my mic sounds so weird is because while I'm doing VR, I'm using a tiny little mic right here instead of my main one. So the sound might not be what you're used to, but hopefully it's okay. I know that sometimes when I yell, it can clip. Either way, this was a fun little experiment. Uh, if there's any other games you want to see me try out in VR with this program, hey, leave it in the comments down below. Otherwise, have yourselves a great day. Smash like, sub for more. Sign or stay up at gamers.